Hey guys, I'm back. Um, so we have this, our little bottom part of our pumpkin. And today, well, I guess today, because I'll be uploading this later. So um, in this video, we're going to finish the stem, the leaves, and then everything else around it, okay? And I also have a little unboxing I'm going to be doing. I have um, a couple of things that are out for delivery. So I hope y'all can stay tuned for that. Okay. I might be able to hear my music in the background and my chickens outside. She's not been feeling good this week. Uh, her allergies, sinus allergies, something has really taken its toll on her. She's in there chilling. She was her, her sick to her stomach for two or three days, I guess, from all the drainage. and. Just, it was horrible. She's feeling finally feeling better. So I told her she could have the rest of this week just to relax before we start back to school Monday. And then she's actually going to be starting, um, so there's this one. She'll actually be starting um, softball first time Monday, her practice. Any of you out there, I love Charity Gill. Her songs are so amazing. I don't know if y'all can hear my music in the background, but. <laughs> to see this, what this looks like all fit together. It's going to be cute. Oh, okay, so this does go like this. to start right there on that corner because it always tends to like fold up and then I have to kind of start over rip it out Okay, so that's gonna go like that. So I need to set these two pieces first. Thank you. 
my um, so sampler box from that quarter shop. Hopefully, it'll be here today or tomorrow. This morning, I thought we were going to get some bad storms overnight and in the morning. Well, I really don't have a place for my mamas. They don't like going up anyways. They like to stay outside when it's uh, warmer. Well, I thought it was going to be chillier and we were going to get rain. So I kept them all together last night. We hadn't had a drop of rain. <laughs> so I could have uh, milk. I just got through planting yesterday. I got, well, day before yesterday, I think it was, me and my husband got some um, melons planted. Oh, there's the stem. Isn't that cute? So we got some melons planted and some, um, some green beans. That can be also their Cherokee trail beans. And um, they can be dried beans or green beans but they're like a black bean but um i got some of those planted and then i also planted some texas cream peas and i planted some squash squash and then i planted some winter squash and some christmas lima beans so i need to get i got my peppers and tomatoes i just need to get the, the beds and stuff cleaned out so i can put them in the ground got some more stuff to plant. I wanted to try to plant my own um, my own holus oats, my own uh, wheat, an ancient wheat. Guys, give me a second. But, um, try to make my own, uh, grow my own wheat to have my own wheat berries. I've lived it up and it's going to be a little bit of a pain to, um, what is it to harvest, but I think we can do it. Okay. So there's the stem. Okay, now we need a leaf. And so, my leaves are a little bit, like one of them, like this one right here, I have two different because I used charm squares for these since they were three, they were like three inches. And I didn't want to cut my big fat quarter up yet for just one three inch. So this one's going to be a little different, but that's okay. Uh oh. So that's okay. It'll work just fine. make more trouble or more, more work for myself by using my quarter inch and doing all that but I just it works better for me so I won't 
I'm gonna have to trim this one down. That's way over, that's okay. Trim this one up real quick. Sorry if I'm shaking y'all, I'm not meaning to. May see get back. Puck came in here. She, they always want to get right underneath my feet when I'm trying to sew. And I can never get my, um, they step on my foot pedal and everything else. They don't mean to, but. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. I moved y'all. I was afraid that would happen. Okay. So there's that. That's gonna go up here. Actually, move this over more to make sure I don't have to. I don't really want to trim these. I'm gonna try to get as close to I can as in the middle. I can never get this going right. If anybody has any tips, let me know because I always fight with the seam looper. 
even when I try to do it this way, I always catch and always almost rip holes in my fabric. Ain't a lot mean. Just a little bit more. you love when your fabric wants to fight you. <laughs> it's like it wants to turn every way but the way you're trying to get it to. I hope y'all can't hear my kid in there. She is It's a little off, but uh, oh. once I get it all pieced, you'll be able to tell. Okay, so this is going to go here. This one is gonna go here, and then this will go here. Okay, let me sew these together. I made this, uh, what they call, I found it on Pinterest. It's called TikTok spaghetti. But man, I love that stuff. It's, oh, it's so good. You make like this red sauce. And then um, you put that to the side. Do your spaghetti noodles. Of course, I like to use angel hair pasta. That's my favorite. But um, and then you make a homemade Alfredo sauce. And once that's ready, you mix your cooked noodles in there. And then um, put that in the casserole dish. And then you put that red sauce on top. And then put some cheese, like mozzarella cheese on top of that. And put it in the oven for about 30 minutes. Ooh, that stuff is so good. That pasta in the bottom with the Alfredo sauce makes it real creamy. It's really good. I made it a couple of times, but it's really, really good. Jesus. And this is going to go like this. Okay, 
Okay, since that has, where's my, here it is. That has a little. series him and his son on uh, fasting and uh, they're finalizing a Sunday and I'm excited I grew up in church but it took me until my 30 31 to realize that um, a lot of things. I, I, I mean, I had a relationship, I guess you could say, but with the Lord a little bit, but I never really had one until I was older and really started understanding stuff. And of course, I strayed in my teens and 20s. But. I love the Lord and I love his people. I don't ever want to come across as too good or holier than thou because I was wretched. And the Lord saved me. Changed my heart. Okay, so this is in. Okay, then I'll put those two pieces together. Okay, oh, this is so cute. And then I'll put this here. gonna start this in I think flip it over this isn't gonna actually take that long about like it did yesterday I guess maybe a tad longer it's one reason why I decided to do the pumpkin first or second because I knew it wasn't gonna take that long I looked at the instructions first I wanted to do a couple of quick videos I may start another one today, I don't know. I'll start cutting. so far you see that isn't that cute and then I'll put O over here I'm just gonna put this underneath that way I can make sure my light the seams are my pumpkin and then do the borders and then we'll be done. Oh, this 
is gonna be so cute. I love pumpkins. This would be cute to do this to do this block with different color pumpkins for like fall. You could even probably do like the pumpkin and squash. Of course, I know that little so zucchini, but that would be cute to just do it. It'd be cute to just do a blank era uh, quilt top with just this, or do pillows, you know. Do pumpkins with different colors for pillows for like your couch. That would be really cute. Oh, the trick now is gonna make sure this lines up. I don't want to go too fast here. I didn't trim like I normally do. So I figured I could just catch all those that are uneven in my quarter inch, you know, my seam allowance. I feel like it takes so much more time when you're... Some things I'll trim, make sure, especially when it's a little bitty, make sure I have the precision I need. This block is so big. I need to get a bigger wool mat over here because this little bitty one ain't gonna, doesn't cut it sometimes. Uh uh, Chase. Uh uh, buddy. My dogs want to get up underneath there. Let me press this. Y'all see that? Isn't that cute? Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my tops on my top and bottom. I said my tops, my top and bottom, and then my sides. And then it'll be done. Now I'll just make sure part of my top is lined up. That part of the beginning of it, and that way I can straighten as I go.
press these. This is so stinking cute. It was really easy too. Okay, now let me put the sides on. I'll have to clean my mess up once I'm done. I got alphabetties and clips and everything everywhere. Now this is a little bit longer, so I'm just gonna line it up with this. pin but I used to like I would pin something like this I would pin the, you know so many pins in it I like to have if I'm not nesting seams I like to be able to if I need to fix something I can fix it It's a little bit longer, but I'll trim it up. Okay. See, that's a tad longer too, but what I'll do is just line it up with the main part of the block. invest in me a bigger wool mat because this little one even diagonal with these big blocks is just too small I have my ironing board but it's behind me I just need to invest in a bigger wool mat Let me start all four of these sides real quick. I love how the background also on these blocks match perfectly. Like the corn and peas was kind of like bluish color, like a light, light, light blue. And this one's a brown. So it matches real nicely. Let me trim these. So if y'all can see, here is the block. Can y'all see that? So that's what it looks like. Hopefully y'all can see that. I'm trying to make it to where it's not in there, but there's the block. There's my pumpkin block. So like I said, this would be really cute for um like for fall if you did like different colors. 
pumpkins uh, for pillows, um, wall hangings, whatever for the fall. This would be really cute. There's a lot of different things you could do with it. There's this. There's a lot of things you could do with all of them, but especially this for, you know, fall and um, even, th you know, Thanksgiving. So, um, the next one, I'm not sure I'm, what I'm going to do. Because I, I said I was going to do a different one, but I'll figure it out. I don't know. These two I'll probably save for last. This uh, root vegetables and then the tomatoes. So I'll either do the squash or the peppers next, but we'll figure it out. So um, here is my block. I hope y'all enjoyed it, and I will see y'all soon. And if you would like and subscribe to my page, um, I'll be able. I don't think I'm able to link people down until I get more subscribers and more views and likes and all that. So um, if y'all do that that would really help me out tremendously. I, of course, I don't get paid or anything like that, so it's not that. Um, I'm just trying to start my little channel and do th and share what I enjoy with people that enjoy the same things. So, and once I figure out a little bit more, I'll take y'all with me to introduce y'all to my, my goats, my baby chicks, and to milk, and even maybe to cook along with me, you know, just to bake and all that, and, um, Maybe whenever I start separating my milk, my goat's milk, for um, cream to make butter, and I'll bring you all along for that. So thank you all for hanging out with me, and I will see you all next time. Bye.